What are you doing in my swamp? Hello everybody, this is Ogreboy, and I'm going to be doing my top 5 movies that I used to hate but now love. Um, my good friend Esley from Entertainment Fanatic Reviews had done this list uh, here a while back, so I thought I'd go ahead and do it too, because uh, he's been coming up with a lot of fun lists. I've been kind of stealing them from him, but it's been fun doing them too, coming up with my own list for these videos and stuff. Um, and this one, there, there was quite a few movies that I could have put on here, but I decided just to stick with the f top five and everything. But I'm going to go ahead and get into it. Uh, but before I do, here are some honorable mentions. Okay, and coming in at number five is Scooby-Doo 2 Monsters Unleashed. Um, I was a huge, huge fan of the first Scooby-Doo movie as a kid. When it, when it first came out, it was like my favorite movie of that year. I, I watched it in the theater like three times and stuff. Looking back at it now, it's not my number one favorite of that year anymore. It's probably, it's still in my top five for sure, but it definitely isn't my number one anymore because now I would say Spider-Man, but uh, I, I loved the first Scooby-Doo movie, and this one I was really, really anticipating, and I, uh, it was the first time that I ever went into a movie so excited that I can't, and came out extremely disappointed in it and everything, and over the years I've watched, rewatched it and stuff, never really hated it or started liking it more, I thought it was just okay, I, it was watchable, but just not not super great to me and then a couple years ago I had binge watched all of uh, Scooby-Doo Where Are You when I got it on DVD and went back and watched the two movies and I really enjoyed this one a whole lot more after re-watching the show and realizing how many references and stuff this movie has to the show and everything and now I actually kind of get why people like this one more than the first because it is a lot more like the show and stuff than the first movie is. I personally still like the first one more, but I can I can understand it now. Like like I, a lot of kids I knew and stuff love this one more than the first one, and I, I can completely get it now. It, it is a lot better now than it was when I saw it the first time. So Scooby Doo Two Monsters Unleashed is number five, and number four is. Fantasia. Although I never fully hated this movie as a kid, I always somewhat enjoyed watching it, but it wasn't one that I liked to watch very often because of it not having talking and stuff. And I wasn't really into classical music as much at that time when I was younger and stuff, so it was one that I never really wanted to watch and everything. I didn't. That it's one of the ones I didn't fully hate though. Um, that's why it's kind of low on here because I, I wouldn't say I fully hated it, but I never really liked it either and everything. But uh, in recent years, I've rewatched it a couple times and I just absolutely love it nowadays. It's really, really great movie and everything. Seeing all the artistic stuff that they put in here, like all the hard work the artist did on this movie and matching these animations with its classical music is just brilliant. And everything is so many really awesome segments in here especially the my favorite one being the one with the dinosaurs I've always loved that one and everything because I was a huge dinosaur fanatic as a kid so but I think Fantasia is a really great movie and everything and like I said I never fully hated it but it, I never really liked it and if and I never wanted to watch it as a kid I saw it a couple times as a kid and everything and was like yeah this one's really long and boring I did like the second one a lot more though and that's when I started slowly appreciating this movie more it was after Fantasia 2000 came out I, I watched this one a little bit more after that one and but I went a long time without watching either one of them and I revisited them for the first time as an adult a few years ago and revisited it a few times since then too and I just enjoy it a little bit more every time I watch it so Fantasia is number four and number three is Paranormal Activity I, I actually reviewed this one 
a couple days ago and stuff after rewatching it for the first time in uh, nine or ten years and I, I absolutely love this movie now when it when it first came out I thought it was really boring and overrated and didn't really like it at all I liked some of the sequels but I, this was one of those franchises that I was kind of mixed on and everything I'm looking forward to see what I think of the others as I review those but this one I, I really enjoy a lot I think Paranormal Activity is a really really great movie it's it, when it first came out, it was overrated. Now it kind of is underrated. People don't talk about it anymore. And everything, I think part of it is because of how bad some of the sequels got and stuff. And it kind of just burned it for people. And a lot of people also kind of just got where they don't like the uh, the found footage genre anymore. But I, I've never been a huge fan of it. But I do enjoy this movie. And I think it's a lot better now. I actually really do love it now and everything it i'd actually consider it one of the best horror movies that came out during that time period and the, i think this came out like the late early 2000s and like 2007 or 8 i think um but i definitely consider it one of the better ones especially for like original horror movies in that time period and everything but yeah so paranormal activity is number three and number two is Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. Now, this one is kind of like Fantasia. I didn't always hate this movie as a kid. I, I watched it the first couple times I saw it. I liked it. And I had this relative that loved this movie and everything. She grew up with it and stuff. And so I understand and everything. It was kind of like her Wizard of Oz is, is to me. It's like what Wizard of Oz is to me is Willy Wonka was to her and everything. And I... I we watched it a lot when I was a kid. Like there were a few days we like watched it two or three times a day, and I I just got tired of it, and I got so tired of it that I never wanted to see it again, and everything. And for a really long time, I wouldn't watch it. And then I I gave it another chance a few years ago, and totally forgot how amazing it is. And I've rewatched it again. I think I reviewed it earlier this year, in fact. Uh, and it just is a really, really fun movie. I, I personally like Tim Burton's version better, if you want me to be honest. But I do still love this movie and everything. I think it's really, really way better than I used to say it was. I used to always say how much I hated it and everything. And I really have come to eat my words on that because I absolutely love Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. And it's number two. And my number one movie that I used to hate that I now love is... Matilda um, everybody in my generation loved this movie I, I felt like I was literally the only person that didn't when it came out I saw it the first time I think you know, it was probably in school because we watched it a million times at school and one of the reasons why I hated it for a long time uh, and I thought it was it was just mediocre it wasn't really anything super great or anything but uh, I thought it was overrated at the time and then we watched it about 25 different times throughout the school years and everything and I just got really really tired of this movie between watching it there and my brother always checking it out at the library and a family friend always wanting to watch it I, I got tired of this movie really fast and I went about 20 years without watching it and everything and then I rewatched it for the first time last year and I finally understood why people love it so much it's just a really charming little tale with really great great story great cast and everything I, I'm a major Sir butt kiss when it comes to this movie but I, I can't deny the charm and stuff that this movie is and it, it is a really entertaining movie and way way better than I remembered it to be and everything and it's made me want to go back and watch other movies that I hated as a kid um, see if I might have new feelings on them as an adult but this is one of those that I, I never really liked as a kid but I love it as an adult it's really weird um, and everything but it's a really really great movie and everything and uh, I might have to do a part two on this list if I, after I watch a few other movies that I hated when I first watched them that I, I wanted to go back and revisit and see if time has changed it and everything. But, uh, but yeah, anyway, th that's my top five uh, movies that I 
used to hate but now love? Let me know in the comments what some of your movies are that, that you hated when you first saw them and then uh, over time grew to love them. Uh, I know everybody has at least one of those type of movies. But let me know in the comments what yours are and I hope you enjoy this video and have a good day everybody.